If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To create a new non-inventory or service item, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Products and Services link under the list's heading to open the Products and Services page. If you already created a product or service, then click the New button in the upper right corner of the page to open the Product Service Information pane. Alternatively, if creating your first new product or service, instead click the Add a Product or Service button in the Products and Services page to open the same Product Service Information pane at the right side of the window. In the first screen that appears in the pane, select the type of product or service to create. The choices are Inventory, Non-Inventory, Service, or Bundle. An inventory item is a product you buy and or sell directly and for which you track quantities. We discussed creating an inventory item in a separate lesson in the previous chapter. A non-inventory item is used for items you buy and or sell, but for which you don't need to track quantities on hand or value. A service item is used for services your company provides to customers. A bundle item is used for items you sell together as a set. To create a non-inventory or service item, click either the non-inventory or service choice as needed. After choosing the type of item to create, a new set of fields then appears on screen in the pane. The fields are the same for both non-inventory and service items. First, type the name of the item into the required name field. Optionally, if you use SKU numbers, enter the item SKU into the SKU field. Optionally, to upload a picture of the item, click either the Picture button or the Edit button, which looks like a pencil, to the right to open a system dialog box. Use this dialog box to navigate to the picture of the item and click it to select it. Then click the Open button in the dialog box to upload it. To delete the item's picture if needed, click the Delete button below it, which looks like a trash can. If you use product and service categories to organize your items, select the desired category for the item from the Category drop-down. To create a new product or service category, select the Add New Choice from the drop-down menu, type the category name into the New Category window that opens, and then click the Save button. The next set of fields contains the item's sales information. To sell the item to customers, ensure there is a check mark in the I sell this product or service to my customers checkbox. Then enter the description of the item to show in sales forms into the description on sales forms field. You can enter the item's default sales price into the sales price or rate field. Then use the income account drop down to select the income account used to track sales of this item. To mark the item as taxable or non-taxable, use the Sales Tax Category drop-down to select either Taxable Standard Rate for Standard Taxable Items, Non-Taxable for Non-Taxable Items, or choose a special category if the item's taxable status is more specific. If you select the Choose a Special Category choice, then the pane changes to Show Sales Tax Categories for Products and Services grouped in collapsible and expandable groups by industry. You can click these industry categories to collapse and expand them to see their available options and or any collapsible and expandable subgroupings they contain. You can also click these subgroupings as needed to see their options. When you find the specific sales tax category option to assign to the item, click it to select it. Then click the Done button to return to the Product and Service Information pane. If needed to enable using this item in purchasing forms, check the I Purchase This Product or Service from a Vendor checkbox in the Purchasing Information section to show additional purchasing fields. Then enter the item's description to show in Purchase Forms into the Description on Purchase Forms field. You can enter the default purchase price into the cost field or leave it blank if the cost varies too much and you want to enter it at the time of purchase. Use the expense account drop-down to select the account to which you attribute purchases of this item. If you have a preferred vendor for the item, you can select them from the preferred vendor drop-down. 
to save the item and close the pane, click the Save and Close button in the lower right corner of the pane. To instead save the item and open a new pane to continue entering items, click the drop down part of this button and then click the Save and New command instead. To cancel creating the item instead, click the X button in the upper right corner of the pane. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.